I woke up on January 12th and uh, took a sip of coffee. And, you know, you take a sip of coffee, my, my coffee mug blocked my left eye. And uh, I realized that I couldn't see. And I was like alarmed. I was like, what is going on? Like, I've never worn glasses. I have like pilot vision, like 2015 vision. So I was, I was very concerned. So I ended up going to the ophthalmologist and uh, he, uh, he, he saw some like, you know, some kind of uh, uh, inflammatory something like, you know, behind my retina. So he, uh, he sent me uh, to the eye Institute at Freighter, which is like one of the top places in the country for eyes. And uh, I was uh, diagnosed with CNV, which is abnormal veins uh, behind your retina that, uh, excrete blood and scar your retina. But in uh, reality, those were parasites. They, they weren't, uh, the it wasn't what they thought it was. So I was getting cow. shots in my eyes every six weeks of a Vastin, which is like, a uh, the, like a drug they give to cancer patients, um, in my eyeball, which is as awful as it sounds getting shots in your eye, yeah. um, every six weeks. So, um, so I was just, uh, you know, I, it's not a rewind back to uh, deer hunting this year on November 12th, uh, right before gun opener in upper Michigan, I got a place in upper Michigan and I do a lot hunting up there. I, I shot a, a decent eight pointer uh, on some public land right by my place and uh, did what I always do. You, you shoot a deer, gut it, pull out the, the inner tenderloins. And uh, when we got back to camp, me and my buddy threw them in a pan with some butter and cooked them and ate them. Um, it wasn't raw. It doesn't have to be raw. It, it was medium, medium rare. And, uh, we were fine. And then, uh, about six days later, my buddy got really sick at camp. Um, and, uh, he was like, man, he's like, Oh, I feel awful. You know, like I got no energy, uh, whatever. And like, I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. So then I went home and then like a, a day later it hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, I had 104 fever for 10 days straight. I couldn't, like, I was freezing cold. Um, I, 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 the fatigue was unbelievable. I thought maybe I got, you know, the, that one disease that everyone's been talking about, you know, uh, and I figured, uh, that's what it was, you know? And, uh, so I, I went to the ER finally and they told me I had the flu and just sent me home, um, mm. Right then and there, if, if they would have figured it out, I probably wouldn't have gone blind. So fast forward to January. So uh, I was sick. I was super, super sick. I felt like like I got hit by a truck for about a month. I, I, I literally, um, I had no energy, terrible body aches too. It was terrible body aches, super sore joints, kind of like Lyme's disease too, you know. Um, so, uh, so uh Fast forward to January 12th, um, that's that's when I realized um, I couldn't see out of my shooting eye. So, okay, so then we'll pick up where I left off. I went to the ophthalmologist. He said, yeah, you've got some irritation in your molecula, which is the magic juice behind your retina that sends the imagery to your brain of what your eye sees. And uh, basically what happened um, is uh, we got toxoplasmosis, which is a, uh, uh, a parasite that lives in uh, deer. Uh, it's most commonly associated with cats. That's why they tell pregnant women not to do the cat box when they're pregnant or whatever. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, so ended up having this parasite. And what happened was is um, they they form in clusters once they infect your body. When I had that fever, it was infecting my body. And that's why I had that fever. My body was trying to fight it off, I guess. Um, so, uh, so what it does is it attaches in vascular parts of your body and your eyeballs are super vascular and they like that. So they'll attach these clusters in your eyeballs, in your lungs, in your heart, in your brain, maybe even. So um, uh, I'm kind of all over the place with this, but I just figured this out. Um, I, I was I was uh, doing some Google searches trying to figure out how to transition from shooting right handed to left handed with the bow because I just got uh, my bow, uh, a left handed bow now because I can't see out of my right eye. Uh, so 
um, <clears throat> I was doing some Google searches and I came across that meat eater. Um, it wasn't a podcast. It was an actual uh, article. Oh, ar article. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. And uh, I don't know if you guys attached it, but um, I read it and mm -hmm. I thought, oh, my gosh, I'm like, you could change this guy's name and just put my name. And this is exactly what happened to me. So I'd been going to the doctor, you know, every six weeks, the specialist. And, you know, I was diagnosed with uh, CNV or whatever the heck it was. And uh, I, I immediately sent him the article because um, I had I had a shot the next day. Um, so I got into his office. I, uh, I, I said, hey, as soon as he walked in the door, I said, hey, did you get that article I sent you? And he said, he said, yeah, he's like, I did. He's like, I, I got a good chuckle out of it. The guy laughed at me. He thought, I, oh, my gosh, he laughed at me. Mm -hmm. And uh, then he gave me a five minute lecture why I didn't have toxoplasmosis, um, a toxoplasmosis infection, because um, because he was describing the one that was like the first one in that article where it was like, you know, like a, a weird boogery thing and like a really irritated eye. Like I never had any pain. I never had any irritation like that. I felt like I just literally woke up blind. Um so anyways, he gave me like a five minute lecture of why I didn't have it. And then after that, um, I told him I'm not going to get a shot today. And I want to be uh, I want to be uh, uh, transferred over to the infectious disease department. And he straight up told me, no, there was no <laughs> basis for that. So then um, my wife was with me and she's actually a, a nurse um, at said hospital. And uh, she said, well, let's do this. Let's do, let's do a toxo blood screen and let's do a Lyme's blood screen just to, just to rule it out. And he unwillingly was like, all right, fine, whatever, you know? So I went and gave the blood and that was on a Tuesday. That was not this last Tuesday, the Tuesday before. And Friday I was up at my camp up in the UP and I got a, I got a voicemail from him and he was like, Oh, you know, I, I got your test re results back. And shockingly you're correct. And I was like, Oh, Okay. So yeah. So now I know what's wrong with me and I know what happened. Um, but my, my toxo levels were 69 and in order for you to be positive, you just have to be above seven. So that tells me I have a, a pretty uh, good amount of toxo infection going on me right now or, or did, you know, I, I don't know exactly what my status will be until I go to the infectious disease and, and they, they get into it a little more. But uh, so what are they what are they doing as of now to stop this or to, to... you know, they uh, the the ophthalmologist gave me a antibiotic called Bactrim. Um, that's that's what I just got, like, you know, like last week, finally. Um, and he said I might have to take it for years. And uh, I, I mean. I don't know if that, you know, taking antibiotics long term is, you know, it destroys a lot of good stuff in your body, too. So I'm I'm uh, I'm a little I don't know. I have so many questions that are unanswered that I that I would like to, you know, talk to the infectious disease people to find out with. But um, I guess I guess the message that I wanted to tell everybody um, besides my medical stuff, that was uh, you got to be your own advocate. Uh, don't just take people's word for what's wrong with you. you keep digging yep. because. Because I, I was, I told them, I told every person that I went, I went to the ER, I told them I got really sick after deer camp and they didn't put two and two together. I told, I told this doctor, Hey, I was really sick when I got home from deer hunting. It's just in one ear out the other. Cause they think they know everything. And, uh, it's kind of sad, but, uh, I'm glad I know what's wrong with me now. Um, kind of sucks, but, uh, I, I think it's, it's permanent loss, but I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm going to learn to do things left-handed and I, I'll just, uh, suck for a while, I guess. <laughs> but, so, uh, uh, what happened go, to your friend? I was going to uh, say that. My friend? Yeah. Uh, he, he didn't lose his eyesight, but he got really sick. And as soon as I found that out, I, I told him, I said, Hey, you need to go to the doctor and get a test. And he actually just got his test results back today. And he was, uh, his, his test results came back at 47. So it's confirmed so that's what it was. And that's, it was our exposure to that buck. So, so now he's uh, going to worry a little too, right? Uh, I guess. Um, so the thing about it is, is uh, as crazy as this sounds, Dan, like you might even have toxoplasmosis in you from all the exposure you've had from all the different animals. It lays dormant in you until, until your body is like at a weakened point. And, uh, Actually, what what happened to me and when I went blind is I have a four year old son 
And I had a pretty rough go after getting the parasite. Like I was super sick, felt crappy. And then my son brought home hand, foot and mouth from, uh, from daycare. And I got it. And I literally went blind the next day. Uh -oh. So that's, that's, that's what happened. Cause like my, my immune it. system was in a uh, compromised uh. Uh, position at that point. So, but uh, what I found very interesting about the article is like you don't have to eat raw meat. Um, my buddy got sick before me, and I think it's because he gutted that deer for me. Um, he got sick two, 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 three days before I did, and that he had first exposure to it. You know, um, yeah. he didn't go blind per se, but I mean, it's not to say he couldn't because there was another gentleman in that article, uh, the brother of the guy, the Ben Onstad or Dan Onstad or whatever his name was, that had the exact same, pretty much the exact same course as I did to going blind. It says his brother went blind 10 years later and he never got sick, but he ate. Holy same cow. So um, I can't believe uh, from the stats that are in there, you know, that they, they, they checked deer and it was anywhere from 15 to 76 percent of, of their samples tested positive for this toxoplasmosis or T. Gandhi. 80 percent of all black bears that they tested did. And there were guys in there, too, that they didn't even eat anything. They were just helping their buddies clean animals and probably just didn't wash their hands and touch their face or mm -hmm. however however that you know parasites can be spread so um i think it's uh i mean you never you never know when something like this could happen you never think it would happen to you, hey. you know? but uh i think everyone should take a, a long hard look in how they're doing things and uh uh, and, I, and be careful you know? that's what i, I was going to ask you chuck like is there anything they have told you to like do to make sure that this doesn't happen or you don't get it transferred to you uh, from um, the animal? From, I mean, most of my information is from that article. You should actually probably post it on this, this, yeah, uh, it's, it's thing down so below. People can look at it on the media or thing. Yep. Uh, don't do not eat any fresh venison off your kill. Do not eat anything fresh off it. Make sure you freeze it for at least 10 days first, because that'll kill any parasites that are in it. Um, this is crazy because that is what I do. When I kill a deer, I take out the inner tenderloins and I eat them immediately. I've always done this. You know, it's, I mean, and, and, and how many other people have always done this? That's like the best bit of your deer. Oh, yeah. to how many times have you seen Steve Rinello on an episode of Meat Eater eat something like off the, Wrong. you know, <laughs> raw almost, you know? Yeah. Well, the, the yeah. Guy yeah. Has, yeah. Uh, the or whatever. And he Cuban, actually, the uh, tenderloins. <laughs> with salt. I think that's what he was doing, the original guy. Yeah, probably. yeah. The, the the first person in the in the in that story, yeah, th that's what they did. They they cubed it up, ate it raw with salt and pepper, and they've been doing it for what forty years until something happened. I mean, but I think back when I was a kid, my dad used to always serve us uh, raw beef with uh, salt and pepper. Yeah, so I mean, as as crazy as this story is, and as unlikely as it is to happen, it can happen, and it does happen. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's thousands of hunters out there that this has happened to and they were just told something else made them go blind and they had no idea you know i mean i'm thinking about a guy right now i know there's a, a real avid hunter a professional hunter who went blind really? doesn't know why. Mm -hmm. mm. I, a friend I, of mine i'm gonna have a call with him after this i think you should and like honestly i i think everybody who hunts a lot and whatever hey next time you next time you go to the doctor and they pull labs Tell me you want to do a toxoplasmosis uh, blood test. So at least, you know, is there something know? they can like do real quick to, to take yeah, care well, of I mean, it? It's not real quick. They have to send it out, but well, I mean, I mean yeah, like, all you do is give a vial of blood, but you have to specifically ask to be tested for toxoplasmosis. Um, gotcha. So, I mean, yeah, yeah see, yeah, I don't crazy. know if this is what my dad had. He, he had something that they think he got from a coyote though. Um, you can get it from a host of different animals. Like they said, they said 80% of black bear specimens okay. that they, that they checked had taxoplasmosis in them mm -hmm. in that, in that article. Um, and you know, what's crazy is they had these stats. They were, they were findable. Why don't they tell us these things? Like, why wouldn't they, why, why they're like, Oh yeah. Hunters don't need to know this. Like, I mean, that's, that's yeah. Oh, just, this is how it gets out. It's stuff like this. That's why it's good to do podcasts like this. So that people know. Because there's yeah. a lot of people that eat very rare venison or cook it immediately. I mean, I I, mean, eat, I eat my venison probably medium rare at the most at most cooked. You know, um, yeah, like I didn't eat raw venison at all. Like it was it was you know pan fried medium medium rare. 
maybe. I, I mean, do actually prefer it uh, frozen before I cook it over fresh. It just takes the gaminess out of it a little bit. Sure. Well, I do eat it fresh. I mean, everybody does. You get one you deer camp and stuff like you did. Yeah, you know, deer camp. Oh, yeah. yeah. Grab out those inner tenderloins and let's let's uh, let's have a treat, you know. I it, mean, is there uh, – I keep asking you questions that you probably – you're just figuring this all stuff out. But, like, I wonder if there is a certain amount of time where, like, after so many days in the freezer, the parasites – uh, they said they said ten days. Ten days. Okay. If something's been deep frozen for ten days. There, there's, there's, yeah. it kills. I guess anything that's like that's that. in that article, isn't it? I believe it. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm kind of regurgitating a, yeah, a lot. Same. I read I read it, I read it this like, morning. I um, mean, yeah. This. <laughs> yeah. I was I was so I was very relieved when I read it. I mean, I was kind of sad because I was like, oh crap, I have a parasite going insane in my body right now, ruining you know, my eyes and gosh knows what else, you know. Um, but at least I know what's going on now because the these things happen and blah, blah, blah. And like all these answers that I was getting, uh, they they weren't sitting well with me because I believe there's a reason for everything and you just got to figure it out, you know. And um, I was convinced that me going blind had something to do with how sick I was because I had never in my life been that sick. Like it was crazy. Like like 104.8 fever. And then I'd wake up in the morning and I'd feel okay. And then by the afternoon I could feel it coming on me and I'd get freezing cold. And like, I was freezing cold, but I was sweating and I, I had 104.8 fever, you know? And my, my wife was like, you need to go to the ER. You're going to cook your brain. Cause like, I'm one of them guys. It's like, I don't want to go to the doctor. I, I don't want to go to the ER because it's just going to cost me a bunch of money and they're going to send me home. And what did it do? It cost yeah. me a bunch of money and they just sent me home. <laughs> You're <all> wrong. <laughs> no. So. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that's that's uh, uh I'm sorry that happened to you, man. That's a very frustrating thing and we appreciate Yeah, if it was it. my like, left eye, I wouldn't have cared so much. <laughs> right. I said, yeah, like, it had to be your right eye. Of course. Yeah, it had to be my it's shooting al- eye. It's almost like a a way of the uh I don't know, the gods to get back at you or something for <laughs> It's like a weird, weird, weird thing. But it, advantage deer this year, but uh, yeah, no deer is safe this year because I'm gonna have to get my confidence up if I see something in front of me. I was gonna say, like, the arrow's gonna fly. <laughs> how's uh, how's shooting left handed going? Is that been a big adjustment? Uh, you know, I haven't even I haven't even begun. Haven't with, haven't uh, I got my bow over to Steve. Thanks a lot again for uh, connecting me. I appreciate that. Hey, no problem. Um, and, uh, he, he had it and he, he sent me a picture of it last week and I ain't heard from him and I didn't want to sweat him, but I'm going to, I'm going to call him, uh, shoot. I might even call him. I might text him after I get off of here. Cause I'm itching to get it and, and see yeah, what I, I hope it's nothing like throwing a football left-handed. Cause I'm going to look terrible out there. Uh, for a while. <laughs> I know a lot. I think you'll be fine. I think you'll get it. A lot of guys do it when they get shoulder issues or whatever else sure. they teach themselves. I think it's just otherwise, getting, otherwise getting your muscles. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a crossbow, I guess, until I figure it out. Yep. I mean, it is what it is, I guess. You know, it's even more ironic. I just picked that darn deer up from the taxidermist last week too. So now, now I'm just staring at him, going, "You." Yeah. Did you warn the taxidermist about it? Of course, he probably had it. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get into it with him. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I don't. I didn't know if he'd be messing with it enough to like the meat part of it via you know, meat the on left about over. it is is all all these people like you guys self-included you guys might have this i mean it's just you have lower levels of it um yeah. <clears throat> the reason that it hit me so hard is because right after right after i was infected and i was already in like a you know like a immune compromised situation my son brought home hand foot and mouth and i ended up getting it which is yeah. a very very infectious uh thing as well and i think that i mean i'm just putting all this together i haven't even talked to an infectious disease doctor yet but i've, I've already figured out everything else for them so I'm, I'm just going with what makes sense now because yeah. i literally went blind like the day after like it was crazy i found a note in my kid's backpack and it was from two days past and like i was like you know your son might have been exposed to blah 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 and i'm like i didn't even know what that was and then mm. i woke up the next day and I was blind. And then I started feeling kind of crappy the next day. And, uh, yeah. And then, geez, man, that's, <laughs> that's it. So I don't know. I mean, I, I, I fantasize about my eye working right again, but I've, 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 I've pretty much accepted it and I'm just going to move on and, and be positive and just, uh, just learn to do it all over again, I guess. 
Yeah. I really appreciate you coming on, being brave enough to come on in front of everybody and, and just like give everybody a warning about what's going on with this. Sure. I mean, like my, my closing things to everybody is, Hey, um, just because, just because you don't, uh, or you don't think anything's wrong with you, um, take the opportunity to, to get a toxo, uh, blood test, you know, ask for one, tell your doctor, Hey, uh, say whatever you need to, to get one, because Dan, I believe you probably, you probably have some levels of it too. Raccoons are really high in it as well. It doesn't mean you're going to go blind necessarily, but you could, you know, I mean, yeah. it's, it's good to know, you know, if you want to watch another video, click right here, but don't forget to subscribe before you leave.